We believe in a future where fossil fuel use has ended. And clean, affordable energy for transport. For domestic services and for public use. Delivers a high quality of life for everyone. Wherever they are in the world. In the future, if we want to meet our net zero and climate change targets, we need to power almost everything by renewable energy. The people who would benefit the most from 100% renewable energy would be the energy poor or the most disadvantaged. Take a country like Mali as an example. What would integrating renewable energies do? It would be absolutely revolutionary to how they live their lives. They would have access to public services and they would have access to services at home like cooling, like heating, like sanitation, access to water. You're not going to have kind of premature deaths from using cooking fuel inside the home. It would mean they would have light bulbs, they would have access to things like electricity and the internet. Integrating renewable energy will bring a high quality of life to everybody, wherever they are in the world. When, when one imagines that in a developed country such as this one, where everybody has access to energy, there are families that are going to f food banks and asking for milk and cereal because they cannot heat food for their children. It's heartbreaking. And it's heartbreaking because there's a systemic breakdown of how we deliver energy. The outmoded centralized delivery of energy is not useful, especially for the most marginalized. And integrating renewable energy would help their budget by making energy more affordable and more accessible. Integrating renewable energy is a systems challenge. That means it's not something that just the engineers can solve. We also need to understand the policies, we need to understand the economics, and we need to understand how people and society engage with this transition. The Oxford Martin programme on integrating renewable energy has achieved a lot in getting to that future. Just bringing people from different dis disciplines to work together is an achievement of itself. Some people might have questioned whether it would be possible to integrate significant amounts of renewable energy onto the system. But in recent years and through the programme, we've realised this needs to happen in order for us to meet our climate targets. Um, it's created a platform through which academics, practitioners and government can interrelate and this affects the kind of policy, the kind of law and the kind of implementation that happens, not just in this country but abroad. The Zero Institute is taking the research from integrating renewable energy forwards and showing the pathways that this can actually be achieved through. I think the single great, greatest message that I can give to anybody who wants to see a 100% renewable future is that it is possible. It is absolutely possible to make this happen. All the barriers that are there are not insurmountable. And nobody should feel that they're too small to make a difference. We can influence our friends, our family, people we work with. As much as you draw breath, you have a role. Whichever milieu you, you operate in, whatever you do. And just by having conversations about, oh, I've switched to a renewable energy supply, or, oh, I'm thinking about getting an electric car and this is how I'm going to do it, that knock-on effect can be significant. If you have access to the internet, you can research about it, you can tweet about it. If you have access to your local MP, you can do something about it. If you're a policy maker, you can prioritise this. We've now concluded the Oxford Martin programme on integrating renewable energy, but all our papers, talks and research is archived on the Oxford Martin School website. Find out more about the next stage of our work on the Zero Institute website. There's an African saying that if you want to go far, do not go alone. Together we will make this a reality.